Hey y'all, I'm Mimi, aka the Piscean Seer, and this is one of your daily collective messages, okay? Like, 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 and subscribe if you get anything out of this. Thank you so much, so, so much to those of you who do like, subscribe, and comment, okay? It is always loved and appreciated. God, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, all beings of the highest white light with the best interest of me and the collective at heart, you are always and forever welcome into my readings, okay? Please, please, please give my beautiful and amazing Piscean Seer family the best and most accurate information for them at this time, okay? So, this is a Medusa reading, okay? And I didn't have that many notes. All I had was the Aztec calendar, but then like today I added like rain, lavender, peach, okay? Um, a lazy song by the Bruno Mars, okay? Uh, Lead the Way by Janae Aiko and some other stuff, okay? So we're just gonna... But she told me to give you like um, these first. So rain, okay? Rain is a symbol of cleansing and renewal as well as growth and abundance, okay? It says, rain is believed to have a spiritual power that connects us to the divine force of nature and brings about spiritual enlightenment, okay? So I feel like this is definitely what's going on in your life. A lot of cleansing and renewal and growth, you know, a lot of um, you attracting exactly what it is that you want, okay? At the bottom of this deck is the 10 of pentacles, okay? And then justice is under that. So you are absolutely attracting attracting all of this beautiful, amazing, winning ass energy to yourself, all because of the way that you uh, give and receive love and obey the spiritual laws. That's what this says. Like now's the time for you to be really seeking um, soul satisfaction, okay? Fanning the flames of your happiness. What is it that you want? What makes you happy? What gets you excited? What lights you up, you know? Really look into those things, okay? So now we got lavender, it says lavender has the ability to lift your spirits, okay? It says lavender scent alone can lift depression and ease stress and anxiety, but I feel like you hold this same type of energy like you really lift the spirits and hearts and minds of the people that you go around, okay? The next one says ease it eases the mind, okay? Lavender has a soothing aroma, that makes for an excellent nerve tonic that helps aid in alleviating pain, okay? It says heal naturally melts away aches and pains. Like, I feel like this is what what you, what you really do because this is lavender magical properties. It popped up and I just clicked it, you know? It says that lavender is used in a... No, it's offers a versatile range of magical properties, including love, protection, sleep, purification, happiness, and peace. Okay. So burning some lavender in your space definitely wouldn't hurt. I like to burn lavender before I go to sleep because it's really like relaxing. Okay. And it helps you. I also really like, um, lavender tea. So lavender but it also represents purity, silence, devotion, serenity, grace, and calmness, okay? And loyalty and tranquility. I feel like you're getting, like, paid back for the loyalty that you have shown, you know, to yourself, to your spiritual journey, okay? It says it signifies the loyalty and commitment that friends share, you know? So you could be attracting new friends to yourself. Also, it says... um, Lavender spiritual symbolism represents regal luxury and beauty. Okay, so you are the song say, Yeah, she drives my soul divine. Okay, so you are just gorgeous. Okay, um, it says that this nard was an expensive plant and out of reach for most. Okay. So you are expensive, baby. <laughs> and, um, anybody who gets to be in your energy is, is very lucky. You know, you're very sweet. Okay. Next thing was the peach. Okay. And I wrote Georgia. Okay. You can live in Georgia or you could be from Georgia. You could be just this beautiful Georgia peach. Okay. <laughs> That's what I got from that. Okay. Um, but I'm gonna look it up. It says, um, aside from symbolizing longevity, Peaches also safeguard health, you know, so I feel like um, somebody could definitely be trying to attack your health, okay? I wrote someone is attacking my hands, okay? <laughs> I'm going I'm to I'm tell you a little bit more. Let me read this first. It says, um, the fruit is considered good medicine for everything 
from rheumatism to coughs to evil spirits, okay? Mm, so eating some peaches, okay, would actually help strengthen your personal protection that you have going on, okay? It says peaches represent the heart and a leaf attached to the fruit as a symbol for the tongue, okay? So you could have a very powerful throat chakra, very powerful words, okay? Whatever you say <laughs> um, has the ability to come into fruition. So you need to be very careful, very mindful of that, okay? It says throughout all the cultures, the peach was seen as a mythical fruit of health, peace and happiness something everyone wishes for okay so you are something everybody wishes for okay they wish they could spend time with you get their hands on you you know just so they can pick your brain and just really um soak up that lovely energy that you offer you offer you know um let me see so and the lazy song he's just talking about um I don't know how I even started singing this song. Oh, I said, today I don't feel like doing anything. And then I started laughing and I said, you wish, okay? <laughs> so I feel like somebody could definitely uh, be sending that energy into you, you know? The song says, I just want to lay in my bed. Don't feel like picking up my phone. So leave a message at the tone because today I swear I'm not doing anything, you know? And you could... Um, Full well, just be in need of a day where you decide you're not going to do anything. You're just going to do, you know, the bare minimum, the things that you really want to do. You know, he's talking about um, how he going to kick his feet up and stare at the fan. OK, turn on turn on the TV and throw his hands in his pants. You know, like he just chilling. Uh, nobody's going to tell me I can't. Nah, I'll be lounging on the couch just chilling in my Snuggie. But I'm saying it says uh, click on MTV so they can teach me how to Dougie because in my castle, I'm the freaking man. OK, so. I feel like, you know, you could be feeling like that, but this could very well be energy that somebody's like projecting at you, you know, like somebody could be wanting to slow you down. Okay. And I have experienced this kind of magic day <laughs> um, and it can be very strong. Okay. It really will feel, have you feeling like you really don't want to do shit, you know, like you just want to lay down and not just engage with the world at all. Okay. So be careful with that, you know, you can fight that 100 percent, you know, just um, make sure that you have things planned for you to do, you know, if you don't like really have much to do, like try to put things on your schedule, you know, or like find like constructive downtime is what I'm hearing. OK, it says don't feel like picking up my phone. So leave a message at the tone because today I swear I'm not doing anything, nothing at all. It says tomorrow I'll wake up and do some P90X, meet a real nice girl, have some really nice sex. And she's going to scream out. This is great. Um, it says I might mess around and get a college degree. I bet my old man will be so proud of me. But sorry, pops, you'll just have to wait. You know, so I feel like um, try to avoid putting things off. It says, nah, I ain't going to comb my hair because I ain't going nowhere. I'll strut in my birthday suit and let everything hang loose. You know, I feel like uh, you do need to strut like you <laughs> like you. Uh, um are comfortable in your birthday suit, you know what I'm saying? But don't be in your birthday suit, you know, just not being productive or taking little steps toward what you want to do every day, you know, like try to do something, okay? And then we got hands at the bottom of this deck, okay? And we also got time, okay? Your time is very precious, you know? Of course, you are you have this infinite life, you know, but you only have so much time, you know, in this vessel, you know, here at this time, like take advantage of this, this moment, this time that you have right now, you know, and then lead the way. She'd be like, uh, there is magic deep in the water or some shit. Hold on. Uh, trust and believe it. You'll see that we'll lead the way. Okay. Let me see. We have a choice. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There is magic deep in our heart. There's a legacy that we honor when we bring the light to the dark. Whatever brings us together can never tear us apart. We become stronger than ever when we just trust, okay? So you have to have a little bit more trust in spirit, you know. Know that they are protecting you, okay? So I was saying someone is attacking my hands, you know, and this could be 
significant to you. I really think it is, you know, because this hands is at the bottom of the deck, okay? And it was, I was uh, like bumping my hands on shit. I burnt my hand a little bit on the skillet last night. And I said, um, I said, oh, that bitch can't pull cards. That bitch ain't got no hands, you know? <laughs> and, and Spirit confirmed that shit quick, okay? And it's just so funny. Like, so, you know, you can have um, very powerful hands, okay? Um, something that you do with your hands. You're very gifted and you need your hands, <laughs> okay? Just know, like, <sighs> sometimes they're saying, she's saying, like, sometimes the magic does come in, but it just causes, like, something little, okay? This is just, like, to let you know what's going on, okay? It'll be, it could be the smallest of things that you notice that you keep doing that you don't normally do and be like, why am I doing this? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I said, is somebody, and then after I, like, kind of acknowledged it, it just stopped, okay? So don't ignore things like that, okay? And then headlines... It's Drake, okay? He'd be like, uh, I might be too strong. I don't confident. Overdose. No, I might be whatever. Overdose don't confidence. Starting not to give a fuck and stop fearing the consequence. Drinking every night because we drink to my accomplishments. Fading way too long. I'm floating in and out of consciousness. And they saying I'm back. I'd agree with that. I just take my time with all this shit. I still believe in that. I had someone tell me I fell off. Ooh, I needed that. And they want to see me pick back up. Well, where'd I leave it at? I know I exaggerated things. Now I got it like that. Tuck my napkin in my shirt because I'm just mobbing like that. <laughs> okay, so I feel like you're so straight, okay? <laughs> this is the Six of Pentacles, okay? And the High Priestess right here, look. And the Seven of Pentacles under that. I feel like, you know... You do definitely have someone trying to send some sort of conflict energy at you, but it's just not working, okay? You are royalty, okay? There was a bee, like, buzzing around the door, and it just did not go away until I was like, okay, bees. <laughs> but when I wrote bees, I wrote, like, a towel or a rag or a sweater, you know, or seat covers or something in your house. You could have um, a bee on it. You know how it how it goes like this, you know, and it has like that little dot trail behind like the B. You could have something like this, okay? And then I wrote the Aztec calendar, okay? You might want to look into the Aztec calendar um, and just learn a little bit more about it, okay? She was saying something about like the Aztec calendar follows the natural rhythm of the way that we should be operating, okay? <laughs> so... Like, it's, it's very, very accurate. I was watching this video, and he was kind of, like, breaking it down. You know, there's, like, it ha it's like a circle, you know, and it has all of these different, like, layers. And it has, like, <laughs> a little key that explains, well, the one he had, he had it, like, on a board, you know. I don't know. He could have made it or whatever. But it, like, really had little pictures of the each, like, little animal or figure or whatever, you know, in a line. And it was just, like, explaining... It was pretty much breaking down what you should be doing in that season or whatever, you know, <laughs> but that's why I said, just look into it. I haven't even looked into it yet. So what's the overall energy? The emperor, okay. And the three of lightning, okay. Or the three of swords. <sighs> so, um, I feel like. Somebody could be definitely messing with you, okay? <laughs> we got the Ten of Lightning at the bottom of the deck, and then we got the Ace of Candles and the Ace of Pumpkins under that. You know, I just feel like you're in this Earth Angel energy, and somebody's kind of heartbroken about the stability that's coming into you, you know? But I feel like now is the time for you to be celebrating. I, you know, I forgot this was this loud. I hope I don't get copyrighted. But I was wondering, like, why is this so loud? I forgot to turn it down. <sighs> And then we got the seven of pumpkins or the seven of pentacles again when I split the deck. So I feel like there's this harvest coming into you. 
It says the emperor holds the ultimate authority over his dominion, taking full command over that which he reigns. Dave Dennison shows this by doing what he thinks is best for his family, whether it is moving to Salem, requiring Max to take Danny trick or treating or showing concern for his daughter's safety. It's obvious that Dan cares for and seeks to protect his family. You may find yourself in a similar place of power. Okay. So it's like, not only are you kind of be having energy directed at you, but you know, your family could be too, you know, it says Dave takes command of situations when he believes it is called for this, Despite Max's many protests, Dave moves his friend, family to Salem for a better career and life. Follow in footsteps. Follow in his footsteps as you take the mantle of leadership. You could be moving, you know, or just moving more into a leadership position. It says, let your convictions be firm and decisions just, even if others disagree. The strength of your resolve shall become the strength of your authority. OK, so um, you're really in control and in charge at this time, you know, and it really doesn't matter who's heartbroken at this time because you spent a lot of time in the past being heartbroken and nobody didn't give no fucks. You could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The song says, shut it down. You can ask them bitches, okay? <laughs> so you shut it down. Everybody's aware of that shit. It's not a secret, okay? And look, we got communication because you have this connection to the other side, you know? You really do receive a lot of communication at this time. And also, I feel like you're about to receive more information on where you should be going next, you know? <sighs> You could be receiving a lot of messages, you know, like just signs or just really hearing things. <laughs> OK. But I just feel like it could be happening when you're out in nature. OK, look, doorways, like I said, you're about to start receiving more information, more communication on where you should go, how you should be moving. Because, um, you know, you've completed a cycle and now you're going into uh, this much better energy. What else? Beautiful. Thank you. Archangel Michael. Okay. So you definitely protect it through the nonsense. Okay. It says stand in your power and be true to yourself. And then we got Lady Gaia at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Big, big protection energy. Because this earth is your home, you know. For now, you know, <laughs> I mean, it says your challenges are lessons. Okay. It says you are loved and welcomed on earth, you know. So it's like, it doesn't matter what anyone else says about it or how they may feel about it. You will always transcend and come back to this energy of universal oneness because you really do understand yourself. You're true to yourself and you're operating out of that beautiful, infinite energy that you carry. Control it, control it, mama. Oh. What's up? So it says Archangel Michael always strengthens you, helps you develop courage and protects you. Trust him to look after you. However, his higher message for you is about self-reliance. Call on him to boost your resolution so that you take action with integrity. Hold your own sword of truth and step forward on your ascension path with resolution and valor. It's time to manifest your own reality consciously with the focus and force of your thoughts and your energy. Be a true leader of vision and power and protect those who need it. Stand in your integrity and splendor and let the world see your divine self, okay? So show off all that beautiful divine energy that you hold at this time and trust your communication, trust your nudges, trust your intuition at this time. I feel like with the Aztec calendar, you know, you could be just naturally like you might not even need to look into it. I feel like you're naturally falling back into 
operating on the cycle of the Aztec calendar, like, because it's just like encoded in your DNA. Okay. Like your body is already aware of this cycle and the way that it works for you. Yeah. Look, walking meditation, just go, you know, like you're naturally getting back into the rhythm of the universe, of the earth, of the world, you know, and you're being extremely protected while you're doing it. Yeah. We got enchantment with celebration. I feel like people thought that they was going to be able to enchant you and take your essence and take your grace. Okay. And they just never did. <laughs> you're very graceful, you know, <laughs> and your essence like is shining bright. You know, the light within you is gorgeous. You're extremely balanced at this time or you're headed into this place where you're feeling more stable and balanced. You know, I feel like we got gratitude rampage. It's already happening. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so definitely, like I said, you're in this beautiful energy, even if you feel like you're not, you know, with seduction, I feel like you can have a lot of people, not a lot of people, but, you know, people here and there coming, trying to seduce you, trying to pull you back into situations and back around people that you already broke the chain from that you're just not fucking with, okay? And um, I feel like you handle yourself very well in those um, situations, you know, you really, <laughs> with intergalactic ma mastery, okay, I feel like you get confirmation, like, you see things coming, you know, you be having the confirmation of how shit is gonna go before you even get there, okay? I feel like also some people are getting brought into your energy, into your face to show you just how in alignment you are, you know, just how much, how big of a difference it is. And just to confirm that, yeah, they're still in this energy. They still not for you, you know. All right. What is just go and celebration? I see the moon. Okay, your intuition is so on. Okay, we got uh the stars. Okay, so you are absolutely the star. <laughs> you could even be in Aquarius, but you just in this wonderful star energy, you know, like spreading your love. <laughs> okay, what is celebration in essence? Uh, the king of swords. I feel like um, <laughs> you're very clear about what it is that you want. Okay. Especially with that line <laughs> that she just said on the card, you know, but I feel like somebody is really paying um, a lot of attention to you at this time. You know, like you could have some sort of love interest that you're entertaining. I feel like some ex or somebody could be watching you, but the three of swords is up there. Okay, what's essence and grace? Yeah, look at this. You and your new love interest chilling again, and there's another chick in the background, okay, doing magic or something. That's the three of swords, okay? So I feel like, I don't know. Like somebody does magic on a consistent basis in order to keep you in a heartbroken type of energy. But you are not really being affected by the heartbroken energy that they're trying to send you. What is, we got the queen of pentacles, exactly. You're in this like amazing, wonderful, you know, sitting pretty, city proud, everybody want to kiss my feet ass energy. <laughs> okay, because he's right here on the floor, like about to kiss that foot, okay. I feel like that really gets on people's nerves about you, that you're always very attractive. Like I said, very graceful, like you hold a wonderful essence and you're very balanced. OK, because this is the king of pentacles. I just showed you the queen of pentacles. You're very balanced in the masculine and feminine energy, you know, and that's why this is already happening and you can't be seduced. You know what's seduction and confirmation? The Ten of Swords, okay? So this could be confirmation for you, you know, that you already know what is right for you at this time, you know? This is the Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck, and then the Knight of Swords under that, you know? 
So it's like you're making quick, passionate movement towards what it is that you want. Okay. The ace of swords is under that making quick, passionate movement towards new beginnings, towards happiness, towards standing more authentically in your truth every single day. It's like you keep discovering more and more about yourself. And that is exactly what you need to be doing at this time. Like, it's really good for you. What's the star and the king of swords? Okay, we got uh, intuition, trust, patience, spiritually and re spirituality and receptivity. And that's what I was saying, you know. You're in a very, like, this is yin, okay. <laughs> but I said you have this such a strong, like, intuition. You're in such a peaceful place. Like, you really, truly are standing in your power. You're giving and receiving love. Okay, we got Venus and the moon, you know. Giving and receiving love, really seeing the value, seeing the beauty in life and in other people. Even if those people are not emotionally satisfied, you're someone who knows how to nurture yourself and others. So it's like everything is all right when you're around. What's the king of swords and the three of swords? The Sagittarius, okay, with optimism, exploration, and freedom, you know, you go around people and you're very optimistic and you really change the way that they think about things, you know, you really are a master at bringing grace to a situation. I don't like no whips and chains and you can't tie me down, but you can whip your loving on me. That's what the song said. Okay. <laughs> so I feel like also, you know, you're very sought after, you know, because nobody can tie you down. You know, it's like you do what you want because you're balanced and you know exactly what you want. Whew, they want to seduce you into something, some nonsense so bad, but they can't. What's the three of swords and the queen of pentacles? Aquarius, it says um, originality, philanthropy, and progressive imaginings, you know, like you are next level with your shit. This is more in star energy, okay? You are the star and you're just original. You are just you. And th this energy that you carry when you are just you the most, okay? Oh, it affects people in such a lovely way, you know? Because people, it's like a lot of people feel restricted, okay? They experience a lot of struggle, you know? They're learning the value of hard work and patience at this time, you know? And they're just, I, I rolled my eyes, you know? Because it's like when you come around, you know, you are like this beautiful owl that's able to fly into their darkness where they're feeling restricted or they're feeling held back where they're experiencing struggle in some way. You bring the balance of this queen and king of pentacles energy, and you really make everything feel better for them, you know? But it's like they always end up trying to take advantage of that. And it, <laughs> we got destined to have, okay? You're destined to have whatever it is that you want because you've done all the work to get to a positive place. You know, if you think about the energy of Medusa, you know, she started out like so beautiful, so lovely, so gorgeous. And it's like they just came in and just took her power, like just totally disrespected and fucked her whole shit up just because she was beautiful. She was the star. And guess what? <laughs> Every single one of them got exactly what they were supposed to get for doing that shit. I heard karma is a bitch, okay? King of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords, okay? The Leo with self-confidence, loyalty, and creativity, you know? I feel like you're staying very true to what it is that lights your fire at this time, you know? Like, you have tunnel vision. You can't be swayed, you know, to either way. You're just, like, not giving people the time of day. And, I look, the South Note, destined to release because they're people that you're destined to release. People that weren't meant to be on your team, okay? People that would set you up and try to take your power just like Medusa's power was temporarily taken, okay? It was just for a moment, <laughs> okay? It says self-expression and embodied truth, you know? The sun, Continue to give and receive love. 
like don't get caught up trying to like pay anybody back or anything like that or you know being like you know <laughs> return to sender like no nah. god i don't want to return that i want you to handle them exactly how you feel like it needs to be handled and i thank you so much for covering me and making sure that i'm taken care of you know archangel michael i need you i need you to come in and help me. I'm feeling some energies that don't belong to me. Help me to clear out my space. You know, I got, I got chills. <laughs> What's the yin and Sagittarius concern in a wealthy man? You know, I don't know. I feel like you could be <laughs> like the wealthy man energy. I feel like people, a lot of people are very concerned about how they can't take your wealth. Like I said, they want to take your value. They want to like tamper with the way that you are viewed. And this is just never going to happen. Okay. Like this 13 on the wealthy man card is giving me like the energy of death, the energy of an ending. Okay. Um, we got Sagittarius and Aquarius. This could be someone you have a child with, or I feel like, you know, like, this is just something that you're, like, because, you know, sometimes how they say, like, you're pregnant with possibilities, you know, like, oh, you could, the child energy shows up sometimes because you're just very fertile. You could have some kind of baby, because, you know, a manifestation is like a baby, okay? You hold that manifestation for a certain amount of time. And then you birth that baby, okay? And then you have to nurse that baby up, get it up on his legs, get it running. And it runs, you know, forever until you decide you don't want it to run no more or something. I feel like you can have a false person, like I said, okay? This false person is going to be in bad health, okay? Because they wanted to take whatever was the most important to you. Now, that could be an actual child or, like I said, whatever it is that you're growing and working on at this time. What's Aquarius and the North Node? Take me into your loving arms. Kiss me under the light of a thousand stars. We got high honor, okay? Because that's what you are. <laughs> you just need to keep facing your true north. Keep Keep walking your divine life purpose path, okay? Because you're on it, whether you feel like you are or not. You're making the right moves for yourself, really recognizing your wealth and, and who you are. And you're being very protected through this. But I feel like you really don't have that much trust in your guidance, you know. Like you question yourself a lot. You don't give yourself enough credit. What's um, the North Node in Leo? He said, I remember the first time that I met you, it was high school. And this song be like, I want it more than you could give me. So sorry for a 15 year old. But 15 is like a number of change for me. Of you following your, your intuition and walking away from something. Even if that thing left you heartbroken. But that situation was the situation where that person was stabbing you in the back on this ten of swords. That person is with another person outside while this person is crying in the house. We got the mature man right here. So this person could have even been older than you, you know, or this could have been some other kind of betrayal. Something where someone was trying to convince you that you weren't destined to have and that you really shouldn't have that much confidence because you're not that great. Or, or this could even be a mature woman in her masculine energy, you know, always looking at you like you're this naive child when you're really this w wealthy man. And why the fuck are they so concerned about you and what the fuck you doing anyway? You official, you official like a ref referee with a whistle. OK, look, if you got all this unexpected income coming in. Somebody is wanting to court you. OK, look, here's that mature woman. OK. <laughs> Because you're on the right path. So please don't let anybody's opinion like rattle you at this time. And don't let that feeling of, you know, 
today I don't feel like doing anything. Don't let that shit take over you. Because that's that energy is being sent, okay? What's the wealthy man concerning the child? Yeah, Alpha Centurions, okay? And it's it says foresight, planning, and strategy. <laughs> okay? So I feel like there's been not only a lot of foresight, planning, and strategy going into, you know, you and your path that you're walking, but there's a lot of other people wishing they had the foresight to help them in these plans and strategies that they're trying to build up against you, but they just don't have the brain power that you have. You know, his forehead is really like protruding, you know, giving me big brain energy. But also I feel like, you know, it's like he's sitting at the bottom of the ocean, you know, but he's comfortable, he's chill, he's relaxed. He's just hella deep. <laughs> and that's where he resides, you know? And I feel like that's the way you are, you know? Like you're deep and you, you stay there, you know? It's like at this point you refuse to, to um, like go up to a shallow place just to make people feel at home or feel comfortable. And you still healing them with all the ease and grace that you do it with. <laughs> What's child in high honor? The crop circles, okay, with me messages, curiosities, and signs, okay? I, that's what I was saying. You're getting so many messages. You could be feeling extremely curious, really just wanting to look into everything, you know, really hearing everything that people are saying and really getting more curious about, like, why? You know, like, that's not none of your business, you know? You could have been someone, you know, who people would just ask you stuff and you would just, like, blah, 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 just blurt out the answer to them, you know? Because why can't they know? What are they going to do, you know? But I feel like you've learned to be a lot more quiet. I did say something about silence earlier, you know. You are being a lot more quiet about what you're destined to have. And people do not like that, you know. I feel like you were making it easy for somebody to attack you. But now they are, like, stuck because they cannot break your heart or your communication that you're receiving. What's high honor and mature man? Yeah, tall whites, uncertainty, distrust, guarded. They see that you're uncertain about them now, that you don't trust them, whoever the them may be in your life, okay? <laughs> like, they can, they can feel the energy of uncertainty that you have about them. Yeah, we got Enigma Elusive Sensitive with Mantis Beings and then Andromedans, excuse me, Autonomy, Free Will, and Manifestation. I feel like, like you're just being very elusive to them. Like they just really don't understand, you know, how did you get such so tough? You know, I feel like to them, they used to look at you like, as like this little sensitive, delicate thing, you know, and with the chariot, when I part the deck in the four of wands, I feel like now they can see that you're moving on to this much happier, more secure place. You know, you got all of this confidence and you're creating things they never thought you would create. Okay. With the ace of swords right here, you know, that's big facts. And not only that, this, like I said, you know, that Archangel Michael energy with the crown, you know, standing in your Royal power and it's confusing. And like, <laughs> just, they're just confused. Okay. They do not understand this earth angel energy that you in. Like, they just like, how did you do that? <laughs> What's Alpha Centaurians and crop circles? The hanged man. It's like, like I said, they're stuck up now. Like, they got caught up in the, in the plan, in the strategy. They're stuck because whatever they send, it, I'm rubbering your glue. Everything bounces off me and sticks to you, okay? <laughs> this is the rules. <laughs> I don't know why they keep sending it, but they just... It's like an obsession is what I heard, okay? What's crop circles and uh, tall whites? Ooh, okay. The star. <laughs> you are the star, my love. You're in high honor. The song said, woke up this morning with a smile on my face. Okay. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, <laughs> there's a whole bunch of conflict going on because you're the star and you keep waking up with a smile on your face. Like it's really a problem. 
And you just keep offering love to every situation that you're walking into because you see things clearly. And this has got your cup really overflowing, really has you in a, in a, in a emotionally mature place. <laughs> like you really understand yourself and that makes you like a hell of an opponent to have to go up against. But, you know, Medusa saying like, she doesn't want you to ha feel like you have to worry about this drama. Like this drama is not affecting you. It's already happening. Like I said earlier, you know, what's the final thought on this? Is it the way you love me, baby? I'm telling you, it's just like, they just can't take that you released it. Like, they thought you would be, like, whoever this person or these people are, you know, they thought that you would always be running behind them, trying to force your love on them. Like they didn't expect you to release them and to start being more focused on what it is that you really needed to be focused on. They thought they really had you. Okay. What's the final thought? Protection. <laughs> big, big, big protection, baby. Okay. That's what the whole point is. You just need to know you're protected. Okay. Healer was sticking out. We got knowledge, okay? We got healer, and then we got trust right here. No, what is this? Grounded, okay? Stay grounded and have trust in spirit at this time, you know? And just know that your knowledge, your ideas, your energy is really being protected in a major way. All you have to do is just follow your intuition and really trust yourself and trust the messages and guidance that you're receiving, me, baby, because really the point is these people really love you, baby. So it says you are protected. You are safe in all matters of the body, mind, and spirit. Your highest guidance has you covered on all fronts. Do not delay in moving forward. If inquiring about a relationship situation or how to proceed, please take this as a sign that you are taken care of and harm to none will be had. Meditate on this symbol when you feel like you need to strengthen your energy. This is a Norse Viking rune often used when petitioning the gods for protection in battle. Okay, so, you know, meditating on this specific symbol would be great. There's a Viking thing that I want to get tatted on me. It has every rune in it. <laughs> and I just love it. I think it's dope. But anyways, I hope you guys have a happy, fabulous, wonderful, and amazing day, okay? That you got something that you needed out of this. And I will see you later. Bye.